Okay, so hey guys, and today I'm actually going to be covering a topic that I've actually received some questions about, which is how to randomly instance um, objects um, everywhere in your world. Okay, so here we have a camera, which is actually our player. Yeah, so I just set up the movement code for that so that we can be moving around to see our progress and actually made a rigid body to the, so that we can um, this is actually the object that we're going to be randomly instancing okay so i'm actually going to be randomly instancing this at the stop at the point and also i'm going to like do it one by one okay so just follow me here we have mass and weight i have a zero and zero and the gravity scale to is zero so that the rigid body won't have a gravity and all that stuff then for the code i just coded the impulse and yeah it's going to move at a speed of two actually i'm just going to make this training so that we can have a much faster speed okay so yeah that's it that's all we need and we need a game script so this is just like instancing your normal um, your normal scenes to the tree or yeah i guess yeah so the first thing we're going to do is since we want it to be instanced randomly we're going to use a rand a rand x which actually is going to be a variable and we're going to need a variable again rand y so this is going to be taking care of um the randomization and stuff like that so first thing we want this to be instance on the ready and also i'm going to cover the one that you instance one by one okay like after a period of time another one instances and all that kind of stuff so yeah on the ready we want the we want to make a variable called meteors and if you notice this sprite is actually the sprites from my game okay <laughs> my game alien busters um also you can go and download it the link will be in the description anyways yeah so where were we and yeah this is just that and yeah viewer meteor is gonna be equal to um we're gonna preload that scene which is the kind of the rigid body scene and we don't forget to instance it the instance okay what the instance yeah so instance the scene and here we're going to add child so um we're going to add the meteor as a child of that so yeah for the randomization we're going to say rand underscore x we're going to say rand x and rand y now so rand x will be equal to a random range and this random range will contain the space that you want this um this this uh, the space that you want your your objects to not to cover okay so i'm going to open up my paint now so that i can really explain how this goes so we're here in my paint and okay for example just take the wall to be a square okay take the wall to be a square then our viewport is like this small when I say viewport, I mean um, this here. So this space here is really small. Or maybe you can say the camera. Okay, that's the viewport. Okay, and the wall is everything behind it. Okay, everything after it. And yeah, that's the wall. So if we have a wall like this, that's this big, and we have our viewports that this small, the only thing we're going to be seeing um, at that period of time is what is inside this viewport. So but we're going to be spreading this object around everywhere so we can have like a meteor here 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 and all those places you can even have some in the viewport at that particular time but as the camera moves it moves away from it and stuff like that so the game world is actually endless so we can't just be instancing something endless like that that doesn't make so much sense yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a small portion for example this portion is like 4000 pixels um, wide 
and let's say 2000 pixels long okay for example actually so it's going to instance the object inside this space not outside it okay it's just going to stop inside it there so we're going to go back to Kudo and we go over here and just pick a particular space so for the randex we want a minus 2000 and a 2000 so why are we doing a minus 2000 and a 2000 because as you guys know this x here is the y, is the minus side and this is the plus side so for the round x it's going to go minus 2000 pixels to the left and 2000 pixels to the right and it's just going to pick a random um, random number there between that space and for the for the um for the rand y we're going to do the same because mine i want it to be a square you, you can actually put Two different types sorry you can put any values that you want in here but i am um, i advise that they have the same minus corresponding values like if you put a minus three thousand you have to put a three thousand here so that we can have that um randomization like nice randomization okay so yeah that's it and now we want to set the meteor's global position to this random positions we just got so we're going to say meteor the rand position random sorry dot global position i don't know why i just got sick yeah so it's going to be equal to a vector 2 because the position is a vector 2 and this vector 2 will contain the rand x rand underscore x and the rand underscore y so yeah that's all you need to do in randomizing your um, where you instance all these guys and if you if you just run this now it's going to instance only one and that's not what we want we want to instance like up to 100 or so or whatever number you want so we're going to say for i in range where is it in range yeah and let's say 100 so this is the actually this is actually the amount of objects you want to instance at that time and yeah we're gonna put all this inside that for loop so it just ran it just gets that nicely and to randomize this again we just put a randomize keyboard sorry keyword there so that it always randomizes this guys at every at, at every time we start the game okay so yeah 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 so we're gonna hit f5 i'm gonna try this out and i'm not sure that that uh, yeah as you can see here, we have our objects around. I'm actually moving my camera, that's why you can see all these. Yeah, and all these places are covered with meteors. So if you want them to like be floating, have that floating effect, just put like uh, put this guy in a physics process as or something. Yeah, and that that should work out really nicely for you. And yeah, I want to try, I want to also show you how you can instance these guys one by one. So I'm just going to change this random range to something like 20, so that we can also see because we we don't want to be going around every time and be seeing and be checking for when we where we actually instance it. So yeah, I'm just going to limit the space that we instance it there. And yeah, so we're going to be making a timer gonna hit ctrl a and timer and this timer we'll, we'll set it to like something like a5 oh yeah a5 and we're gonna check auto start so we're gonna go back to the code and say we're gonna put all this into a function and that function is going to be a timeout function from the timer so we'll go over to the timer here we can click it go back to node go back to signals and here we see timeout we're going to connect this to the game scene and yeah we're going to put all this code in it so we're just going to hit ctrl x put these guys in it there and yeah hopefully and yeah we don't want to instance it 100 times so we're just gonna just gonna remove this for loop entirely there is a way you can do this particular thing i just did with for loops with while loops actually it, it's not that hard you just make a variable and I don't know whether explaining it with my mouth will 
do but anyways just stick with the for loops and i think i'm gonna leave the code for the while loops in the description so um yeah that's it and we're going to instance this every time we time out and we want to set the timer wait time again so we're gonna say timer the wait time should be equal to five again so every time he instances this guy we start the timer all over again and i think i'm gonna make this guy 200 just so that we can have that randomization there and you guys will be able to see it so we're gonna hit f5 and hopefully again um in about five seconds we're gonna instance another one as you can see instance it at a different position about five seconds again it's just gonna keep instancing them like that after five seconds if, if you want a particular position you can just get rid of all this code and just set the position in this vector so here it will work um the same yeah it will work the same and i think that should be all so so if you have any questions you can leave it down in the comment section or contact me on twitter instagram discord facebook Links will be in the description and if you have any suggestions also leave it down in the comment section below. I'll use any social media platforms given down there. Okay, so as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.